Keith K here. 2016. Not a very good year for me. But uh, it was a pretty good year as far as metal detecting. The second half of the year I uh, was in a battle with some prostate cancer. But enough about that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and look at what I did get. And uh, happy to have gotten what I, what I have here. First thing I like to do is show my clad. Uh, I've already wrapped up the pennies. I got eleven dollars in pennies over there. That's a lot of digs. And then my coin jar. Let's just push this down and it'll give me a number. I'm sure of it. Okay. 140.71. Wow. So with the eleven dollars, that's one fifty two. <laughs> no, one fifty one. One fifty one seventy one. I think I'll buy something. Maybe a new camera. I'm having a little bit of problems with this. Stand by. Twenty sixteen was not the greatest year for me as far as finding uh, silver uh, rings or fobs or anything silver um, other than coins I did well but anyhow this is all the uh, silver uh, silver items that I have but I'm only talking about those three things the spoon it was on my bucket list I always wanted to find a sterling spoon and there it is um, it's actually a souvenir spoon from uh, a resort area up in Canada the other 925 on that dragon and the other, a uh, 925 on that decorative ring. Um, you see some things on the side. Well, I'll tell you what that is. <laughs> that, and I'll zero in on it, the 110 grams of sterling with the stamp of K. On the other side, 128 grams of sterling with the K stamp. And what I had done last year um, is at the end of the year I sent uh, a few things off to Canada. <laughs> My friend Josh. And look at this. Josh took things like the ring and the dragon. Not that. <laughs> but he took those things uh, and he melted them down for me. I had a lot of dumb 925 silver. I call it dumb because, hey, what am I going to do with it? Uh, I am not going to wear that dragon or need that ring. But whenever you melt it all down and you come out to something like that, that's pretty cool. Josh sent them back to me early this year, and I was so happy to have them transformed, all the silver that I had transformed into something that seems a lot better. You take these two and you put them together, and they clang like silver dollars. <laughs> I love it. Anyhow, let's move on. Well, there it is. By midsummer 2016, I had accumulated 63 silvers. Um, I'll go down and take a closer look for you and show you what I got. And then I'd like to feature my find of the year. And also, um, a find uh, off the bucket list. So let's get out of here and take a look. Walker 64 Kennedy. There's a quarter on that barber. Four SLQs. Ten Washingtons. Two war nickels. <laughs> What is that? Oh, um, six. There, yeah, there are six uh, Barber Dimes. The oldest Barber Dime being 1900. I did not break into the 1800s with silver. Um, I got close, but I also have uh, a lot of century coins. Um, some starting in the low 1900s, of course. Mercury Dimes, 23 of them, 
and Jeffersons. There you go. Fifteen of them. Let's go over here. These are all early 1900s and the best or the oldest actually I got an 1880 I don't know that I could bring that date out but 1880 and then I want to show you the bucket list find okay because I know what it is maybe you can see it but um, the shield nickel this was on my bucket list I actually found this in a seeded hunt. Now I don't count it, but I had to use it to try to define the next coin underneath it. Stand by. There it is. I don't know if you can see the same things I'm seeing or that I know is on that coin, but it's definitely a shield nickel. Okay? And I wish it looked like that. Put a, a piece of toast. I mean toast. Let's just turn it over for a second. Um, I don't know that that shows anything either. But I can tell it's a shield. I don't know a date. And I'm happy to have it. But I want a better one. Okay. And then, my find of the year. That's it right here. And I'll tell you why it's my find of the year. It's an old large set. I got it on a live day. Have a video out there on it. And when we pulled it out of the hole, we didn't really know what it was. I mean, you got a hexagon coin. The history of that coin is that someone, back in the day, sat there and fouled down those sides. You can pick a, a coin off the ground that somebody dropped and it's just a coin. But if you pick off a coin off the ground that's been altered, it's a piece of history. The history of somebody sitting... That might have been somebody's lucky charm. Anyhow, that's my find of the year. And I just want to say this. Um, I'm through the cancer situation. Uh, I'm going back now for some radiation. And that's only to help uh, keep cancer at bay. I can only improve my situation by staying on top of it. And I want you guys all to know, go get your blood checked. PSA. The PSA, when those, when those numbers go high, you may have a problem. That's what helped me. That's what you guys should do. Thanks for watching Detecting the Bird. Listen, I can't wait to get out there and start hunting this year. I lost a lot of time in chemotherapy. And I haven't felt very good. Only starting to get, get a little bit better now. But I can't wait to get out there. Happy New Year. Happy 2017. Stand by.